Welcome to Calculus 101. As we continue with our unit on functions, today we will be dealing with composite functions, the properties of inverse functions, and odd and even functions. When we deal with composite functions, it's important to remember how we distinguish one function from another. As we learned last chapter, there are a variety of different ways that we can express a function and the different letters help us indicate one function from another and distinguish a different input value from another. For this example, let's let f of x equal 2x and let's let g of x equal 3 plus x, two very basic functions. A composite function is essentially one function inside of another function. For instance, if we take the function f of x, rather than putting in a numeric value for x, we are going to insert the function g of x. This is read as f of g of x. We start by taking the outermost function. In this case, f of x is the outer function. And we go ahead and we write 2x. I've put the x in parentheses to indicate that we're going to substitute. Instead of substituting a numeric value, we're going to substitute the entire function g of x. This substitution now gives us a third function, f of g of x. As you can see, at this point, we still have a variable x in which, if we wanted to, we could put in a numeric value. Try another one. Let's try g of f of x. Let's 